What's up guys, John coming to you from New York and as a local you learn ways to navigate and survive in this crazy place. Today I'm going to be sharing 10 NYC travel hacks that will help you out during your next trip to the Big Apple. Make sure to leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this video because I want to know you're watching. Here we go. Let's say you're walking around New York and suddenly you get the urge to relieve yourself. You're nowhere near your hotel, but don't worry, I've got you covered. If you have internet access, I recommend you install the app Sit or Squat on your phone. No matter where you are in the city, it'll show you the nearest bathroom. Normally, it's a restaurant, cafe, or public location. It even shows you a picture of the toilet. Maybe that's too much information, but it can save your ass in a pinch. No pun intended. And if you don't have data and are absolutely desperate to find a bathroom, try any hotel lobby or any bar and you should be covered. New York City has tons of really cheap places to eat from Dollar Pizza to Chinatown. I've covered a lot of these topics on the channel. Check out my cheap NYC Eats guide in the card above. But what if you wanna eat healthy and not break the bank? For my foreign viewers out there, Trader Joe's is your answer. There's eight of these in Manhattan alone and they are a lifesaver for locals, literally costing 50% less than other supermarkets in the city. If you wanna stock up on cheap food for your Airbnb, like avocados that are barely over a dollar, to my favorite cheap, healthy lunch on the go, salads with white meat chicken under $5, use this travel hack if you wanna save money and live like a local. Going to a Broadway show is something I encourage anybody visiting New York City to do, and it doesn't have to cost you the price of your plane ticket, unless it's Hamilton. The first idea that most guidebooks recommend is to visit the TKTS booth located in either Times Square, Lincoln Center, or South Street Seaport. You can get discounts of 25 to 50% off many Broadway shows, but here's something you probably didn't know. Download the TKTS app in advance to see what the deals are for the day. You can even compare between the booths in advance to see which one has better prices. Another app I encourage you to download is Today Ticks. It also has discounted Broadway options and a cool section for rush tickets which are really, really cheap. Another way that you can live like a local is to read the magazines and articles that we read. And Time Out New York is an absolute goldmine for up-to-date information about what's going on in the city. You can pick these free magazines up at many red boxes throughout the city. I love diving into this for ideas of things to do in my free time. New restaurants, bars, even my last video idea came from Time Out New York, the grand opening of Jollibee in Manhattan. If you want to find out about some of the hottest new places to go in the city, highly, highly recommend you read the printed version or check them out online. Many folks think the only way to get to Manhattan from JFK is to either take an expensive Uber or taxi ride, which will easily run you between $50 to $75. But why don't you try the local way if you don't have too much luggage and use the subway? Fellow vlogger Jacob Carlson did an amazing video on just how to do this. Check it out, linked above. It's just $7.75 with a $1 fee for a new Metro card, but after you buy the Metro card, head down to the A or E train and get whisked away to Manhattan in about one hour and spend the $50 you just saved on pizza and souvenirs. I will forever stand by this statement. The Staten Island Ferry is one of the can't miss activities for anybody visiting New York City. Board the boat, sit on the right side, and you've got an incredible view of Lady Liberty. Enjoy some great skyline views of lower Manhattan as well. Total cost, free, like the best things in life. New York City attractions don't have to break the bank if you know where to go, and more importantly, when to go. Just head to this website, nycarts.org. There's some great places you can go to get in either for free or very cheap. The Cloisters, pay as you wish. And there's other notable spots that are free, 
uncertain days like 9-11 Memorial Tuesdays from 5 to 8 p.m., MoMA Fridays from 4 to 8 p.m., or even the Guggenheim from 5.45 to 7.45 on Saturdays. For a list of all free museum and free museum days, see the link in the description. Outside of recommending you buy a $32 weekly Metro Card Pass, there are other ways you can save money traveling around New York. One way is, well, just plain walking. You'd be surprised how many miles you can accrue in one day in Manhattan. The next, city bike. While I'm not an avid cyclist with the crazy taxis and drivers here, you might be better than me and at $12 for an entire day, it provides a very good value if you're gonna be heading all over the city. Then there's the app Via, which is great for people in Manhattan going uptown to downtown for only $5 a ride. You pull with others going in the same direction and assuming there's no traffic, it can be a nicer way of getting around compared to a crowded subway car. This may sound pretty simple, but always carry some cash on you, and it's not if someone's gonna try to rob you. There's certain places like bodegas, which have credit card minimums, or food trucks, which only accept cash. Even at bars, I prefer paying in cash in New York, just in case the bartender tries to add an extra drink onto your bill. I didn't have a 10th hack, so I just want to encourage all of you to get out there and explore New York. Find as many free things to do as you can. If you haven't watched my video on 10 free things to do in New York City for a first timer, I'm gonna put a card above to it, but here's some ideas. Go art gallery hopping in Chelsea. Walk the High Line. See the midnight moment in Times Square. You can even kayak on the Hudson. Or honestly guys, just get lost in a neighborhood, drop the guidebooks, turn off YouTube, walk around, soak in the atmosphere because this is one amazing place to be. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new for more adventures from New York City and beyond. Thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time. I didn't have, I didn't have a 10th hack.